Uh, now to the latest on the coronavirus outbreak. Want to give you the latest. Uh, the death toll now climbing overnight. We're at over uh, 600, and uh, the number of confirmed, that's 600 dead. The number of confirmed cases surging now above 31,000. Breaking in the last few hours, China's central bank now says it's uh, saying it, the, its economy could be disrupted in the first quarter from the outbreak and is preparing policy tools to support its economy. We should talk about what we think that really means. President Trump and President uh, Xi spoke on the phone earlier this morning about the crisis, and President Trump tweeted, just had a long and very good conversation uh, by phone with President Xi of China. He is strong, sharp, and powerfully focused on leading the counterattack on the coronavirus. He feels they are doing very well, even, uh, even building hospitals in a matter of only days. Nothing is easy, but he will be successful, especially as the weather starts to warm and the virus hopefully becomes weaker and then gone. Great discipline is taking place in China as President Xi strongly leads what will be a very successful operation. We are working closely with China to help. And um, with all of that, let's get to Beijing because Yunus Yun is on the ground, our expert who's been working on this all the time. Yunus, good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Well, state media say that President Xi told President Trump that no effort is being spared in what he described as China's people's war against the virus. And local authorities have been responding to his call. In fact, more cities have been imposing greater restrictions on residents. For example, Hangzhou, this is the home base of Alibaba, as well as other cities in the province of Zhejiang, have been issuing official passes so that only one family member can leave the home uh, per household on every other day to run errands. Also, uh, the port city of Tianjin is now restricting exit and entry for homes at residential compounds. That's similar to what's happening right now in Beijing. Shanghai also today passed new legislation so that if residents lie about their medical history or about um, whether or not they've been around coronavirus patients, then they could get a, a black mark on the, their own city's ratings. So everybody has a rating now, or more and more people are getting ratings with the city's called a social credit score. So now you could get a black mark if you lie about your medical history. So all of this is, of course, meant to have a positive effect uh, to um, make sure that you stop the spread of the virus. But there have been stories now of uh, um, xenophobia, uh, that there's been, fo this has kind of been fomenting xenophobia, where one Shanghai executive had said that um, he went to check on his factory and then in a different city, but because he was an outsider, he was put in quarantine for two weeks. So, uh, you know, you're seeing a lot of um, activity now on the ground that could potentially crimp um, economic activity even further.